Sunday. It's cause for a special celebration, a special musical celebration. This is, uh, this is my friend Kristen. Kristen is holding a musical instrument. Do you know what this is? Violin. violin. Does anybody play the violin here? Anybody? You might play excellence. Good. And this is Matt. You guys know Matt? You guys know what Matt's going to play? <laughs> he does play the cello, yes, but today he's going to play the piano. So um, we're going to do we're going to do our singing together. We're going to sing maybe three songs if we have enough time, and then they prepared some special music that they will share with us, and then we'll have the message. Okay, so let's sing "Lord, I Left Your Name on High" first. I chose this song because it's Easter, and I love this song. It does talk about Jesus' life, death, resurrection. Now, the funny thing about the song is that in the lyrics, it says, you came from heaven to earth to show the way, from the earth to the cross, my death to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. So, you notice the word resurrection is not really in there. So it's kind of assumed that from the grave to the sky, he, Jesus came back to life and then ascended into heaven. So that's in the song. We don't say it, but it's in there. Okay, please stand. We'll do the hand motions together. Thank you, Go down with me on the high G major. Ready? One, two, one, two, ready, go. Lord, I bet your name on high. Lord, I got to sing. Yeah. 
Called Jesus the Lamb of God because lambs were used to take away sins, but now it's uh, Jesus that does that. Okay, now. Oh, careful. No, no, no grabbing there. No grabbing. No shaking. No shaking. We will stand and shake on the choruses. This is a uh, kind of a more wordy song, but this tells 
the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. And then the fourth verse is how, as Christians, we can live in light of the resurrection, meaning that now that Jesus has risen from the grave, we have victory over sin and death and Satan, and we can live lives that are pleasing to God. So what we're going to do is we're going to, like, start kind of soft, and then, like, on the third verse, I think it talks about Jesus rising from the grave, so then we'll stand, and then we'll sing a little bit louder. It'll be a little bit, it'll be a little dramatic. Okay, here we were you guys there on um were you guys there on uh, on Friday? Yeah. Yeah. I was here. Yeah. Were you guys there on Friday when Josh was ringing that bell? That was dramatic. Did you guys recognize them? They were playing on Friday? Okay, well anyways, we're gonna play. D dramatic, dramatic music. Here we go! Shh. So we're gonna we're gonna like start kinda like peaceful. We're gonna start kinda peaceful. Here we go. Ready, go. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my life, my strength, he is my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Thank God for giving you, you know, 
nice musicians to listen to. Now, pretend they're not good, right? Pretend they're not good musicians. So the second reason you can you can like watch and you can be encouraged or like worship God is to be like, oh, they're not that good, but maybe I can take music lessons and I can be a better music player. And I want to worship God that way. So you can do that. But if they are good, then you can be like, oh, they're so good. Like, I want to take music lessons so I can be good like them. So, you know, it's kind of like both ways, right? So you thank God and you say, oh, God, I'm inspired to, to be a better musician. Now, pretend you're not a musician or you don't want to take music lessons. The third way you can listen to music and you can worship God is you can say, Oh God, Jesus is so glorious, he's so worthy that he deserves all music and all praise, even the bad ones. You know, he does deserve excellent music, but everybody everywhere is called to worship God through song and through music. Okay, so those are three ways that you can worship God just by just by listening just by listening so I think they prepared like a medley for us a medley is like a combination of songs and so this medley is just a two two song medley they did come behold the wondrous mystery and the power of the cross now we sing these songs in adult uh, service and in our young adult service. You guys might not be too familiar with them. You might notice it a little bit, but like I said, just listen to the music and worship God with your hearts and by listening with your ears. Do you guys want to want to add anything to this? No? No? Okay. Now, uh, this, the song's going to be about like five minutes, okay? So you gotta, you gotta be quiet and just kind of kind of soak it in. Okay, I can get off.
but blessing us with the skills that God has given you. And you know.